Previously on the bill. Stormwall Private Prison. There's been an increase in the number of overdoses recently. You'd think the prison officers would take a stricter view, but they don't seem to know what's going on most of the time. I'm Kath Wilson. Well, at least now people will know you're not a child killer. I just don't want you to do it. Tess, we've been over this. I don't understand why it has to be you going undercover, though. You told me there was heroin getting into the prison. What was I supposed to do? If I hadn't have pushed, nothing would have happened. And girls like Steph King would be a lot worse off. If anything, I'm not happy about you still working there. My workshop's the only release those prisoners get. I'm not about to let them down. This is getting us nowhere. I've got to go. Remember when you see me, it's important you don't give anything away. Just treat me like every other prison officer. I don't want this coming back on you. Don't look so worried. It'll be fine. As far as anybody else in the prison is concerned, you're a new officer. Now, it's imperative the other officers don't find out. Because if they think they're being investigated, we're in trouble. Oh, I can handle them. It's the inmates I'm more worried about. Have you talked to your partner? We don't want any cock-ups. Tess knows the score. First sign of trouble, I want her out. Right, you've been assigned to D-Wing. And that's where Kath Wilson and Steph King have been held. What else do we know about Steph King? Well, it's her first custodial. She's three months into a year's sentence. Persistent shoplifting. Which fits the bill. Rochelle's contacts said the dealers get the new inmates hooked. Her two-year-old son is in the custody of her sister, Debbie. Right, single parent. Child's support said she never gave the name of the father. Was she using when she went inside? We don't think so. We think she was stealing to make ends meet rather than to feed a habit. Well, she might give us the pusher. Is Kath still on side? I've been keeping her posted while you've been doing your induction, and uh, she's willing to cooperate. Well, I still think you should watch your back. Kath is the girlfriend of a child killer. Now, even though she didn't harm those kids, not everyone will believe her. If she doesn't feel safe, it's understandable she'd want to cut a deal. Well, it doesn't ring true. The woman is institutionalised. She says herself she can't cope with being on the outside. Gov, you don't know her like I do. Kath may be many things, but she's straight. If she says she'll help, she'll help. Well, I don't want you going out on a limb for her. Your priority is to find out who's bringing those drugs into the prison and how, and whether the prison officers are involved. Go off. Any news? That's a she's still alive. Bullet was lodged in her stomach. What did Nick tell you? He sent one of the nurses. I guess we're still not talking. What are you such an idiot for? Couldn't get enough of me before. But since that Lee Thomas thing, can't bear to look at me. Nice to have a woman on board. Only one in the batch of recruits. Sure can hold me out. Where were you before? Haulage firm in Birmingham. Door. There's a little blonde. Steph King, first time out. Should we get involved? Uh, the little one's too bad than she looks. <laughs> you got a new bit, Pete. <laughs> What's your bitch's name? You shouldn't be on this wing, Cherry. <laughs> How come the wings aren't separated? Well, they are, but the uh, hydraulics on the gear between A and D ring don't always work. Bosses haven't got around to fixing it. Too expensive. Don't say they're being private. <laughs> Party's over. Back you go. Is she on A wing? Lifer. 
Cherry's one to steer well for you. What's she in for, Pete? Murder. Killed one of our punters. Stabbed him ten times. She'll have a go. Nothing to lose. And she gets off on it. A young girl, Shanty Das, was shot at 6.40 this morning. Now, we all know that this area is notorious for gun crime. Have SO19 been able to give us anything yet? They've found two casings, homemade. Most likely, they're from a Bowcock. That's an air pistol that's been illegally adapted for live ammo. What, only two bullets? Usually they empty the clip. Exactly, which is why we think that whoever shot her either panicked or made a mistake. We haven't been able to find a weapon, but if Shanty wasn't the target, they could come back and get it right next time. But if I have my way, there won't be a next time. DS Nixon here is going to be running the investigation. And the superintendent has given the green light for uniform to be involved. Now, until I can talk to the victim, I want answers. And I want them quickly, before the press get involved. I want this whole area swept so clean, you could eat your breakfast off it. That's door to door, CCTV, you name it, I want it. Right, get out there, find out who did it. Four across, giraffe. I knew that. All right, Kat. Yeah. Look at you. I'm suited and booted. Oh, yeah. I like it. Best keep it short, otherwise I'll get suspicious. You're not kidding. They ain't got a clue. The screws don't figure, the lags do what they like. Noticed. They don't have with a bit of routine. Let's day go quicker. The cases don't know the meaning of the word. Bet you could teach him a thing or two. Too right. Never been in a prison like this before. Susie said that you might be able to get me sent back to Burnwood. It is a possibility, if you can help me. I've been checking it out. Smack's easier to get here than it is on the street. Is it getting in the front door or the back? If I knew, I'd tell you. Everybody knows I don't do it. Asking too many questions don't look good. I know. Are the officers involved? Well, know about it, if that's what you mean. And, uh, what do you know about Cherry Watkins? Keep out of her way. She's not one to mess with. See, our sources say it's the dealers that are running the wings. And from what I've seen, she's a prime suspect. Are you going to give me any of those or what? Is that what I'm worth to you? Have you, uh, come across Steph King? Mm. Junkie down the wing. What about her? We hoped she might lead us to one of the dealers. How well do you know her? Never had reason to talk to her. And is there anyone else involved? Look, I'll find out what I can. I'm not putting anyone else at risk. I've seen too many, uh, accidents. Take Steph back to our cell. What's this all about, anyway? Ah, oh, some rubbish the director's organised. Tess Henry, drama therapist, reckons it helps them cope. All it does is wind them up, gives us more work. Miss Henry, I think we need to uh, postpone the workshop for a bit. Let everybody cool down a bit, yeah? yeah. You two. Here! Yeah. Want to tell me what that was all about? Come on, you don't just threaten to kill someone for no reason. Who are you talking about? None of your business. Shut up a bit now. DS Nixon's asking us for a progress report. Do you want to ask him or shall I? No, I'll do it. I've got to speak to him sooner or later. Nick, my DS wants to know how Shanti's doing. When we're taking her to emergency surgery. The bullet might have punctured her liver. You and your DS would be lucky if she survives the next ten minutes to learn an interview. Then will you just get out of the way and let us do our job? Unless you want another death on your conscience.
Ashanti's clothes. Thanks. Yvonne, I overreacted. I was just concerned. It's okay. I get it. I couldn't work out why you wouldn't return any of my calls, and now I know why. It's because of Lee Thomas. I was going to call you. Save right? it. Sierra Oscar from 298. Go ahead. Can I have a unit to collect evidence from some news A and E? We'll break for lunch at 12. Back in the cells, for the daytime tally. Afternoon nap, all nice and quiet. Just how we like it. Cherry needs to get back to your wing if you want any lunch. All right, girls, back in your cells. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Lunch. I'm not hungry. Why not? Ah, he's growing fast. Is sister bringing him tomorrow? Deb said he started walking and everything. How long since you last saw him? What's it to you? No rest for the wicked. Pete, I think one of Cherry's gang gave Steph something. When? Just then before she went in her cell. It might be drugs. I didn't see anything. Shouldn't we search the cell just in case? It's lunchtime. Do you want to write on your hands? Honey, so what have we got on Shanti's phone? Well, I checked with the network provider and she lives with her parents on the Ellis estate. Right, so you better go around and break the news. Find out if she had anyone with her and find out if they knew where she was going. Anything that can build a picture. Sorry. Tony. According to witnesses, we got three males, all IC3 seen at Hoxton Road. Apparently there was some kind of argument and shots were fired. Any descriptions? Well, the only thing offered up is one of them was wearing a blue hooded sweatshirt. Oh, well, that narrows it down. It's a bad area. I'm surprised we got even that. Mm. Did anyone see who shot her? Of course not. Did they get back to you? No, not yet. What we have got is one witness said that he saw a black BMW 320 driving away from Hoxley Gardens at speed just after the shooting. Any CCTV on the street? The only camera there is broken. Oh. Council haven't got around to fixing it. Oh, give me a break. Right, OK, run everything via Trident and check with the automatic plate number readers, mobile and fixed, see if it captured a BMW. It is the only lead we've got. Watch. I uh, need you to do something for me, Kath. What is it? I'm pretty sure one of Cherry's gang gave Steph King a rap. Try and talk to her for me, find out what she knows. Why would she talk to me? There have been four overdoses in here in the past month. I don't want Steph to be the next. Well, I'll see what I can do. Is uh, Shanti still in theatre? Shouldn't you be working? I wanted to see how you were doing. A bit late for that. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. But you weren't. You didn't even bother to hear my side of it. So tell me now. Lee attacked me. I defended myself. But he wasn't armed. Lee tried to strangle me. He was just a kid. So he was hurting me. Then why are you taking me aside? Wearing that uniform shouldn't be a get out of jail free card. But when things go belly up, that's exactly what it is. And you lot don't just think you're the law, you think you're above it. I thought this was about Lee. But and all the time we were together, this is how you felt. Richie Williams arrested at 11.04 on the Coal Lane Estate. I haven't done anything. So what are you doing in this area? I know you're from Spicer Street. I can go where I want. Pockets. Look, suspect seen talking to a lot of youths as we approached and he dropped a package. Containing three blocks of cannabis resin, about three ounces, respecting of dealing. He also resisted arrest. It ain't mine, I'm telling you. And it ain't the first time you've been nicked for possession. I'm not saying I don't have a puff now and then. Chill out. But this isn't mine. Yeah, right. You should try it, bro. You're wound so tight, you'll fit the burst. Keep your opinions to yourself. We'll see if you're so cocky when you get to court. You can't charge me, man. Watch me. This is victimization. I want to get clean. Yeah, of course you do. Where's the doc? Look, you'll see the FME when I say so. And I want drugs referral. Well, what for? 
Your mind elsewhere, man. Told you I want to get clean. Got the wrong guy. I know what I'm told to. Then you know you do a strip search. This has come down from theatre. When will she be able to talk? You just cut that out of her. Give her a break. We've got a job to do too. And if I was Shanti, I'd want to get whoever did this. And maybe she doesn't want to go there. How do you know? Have you talked to her? No. This is a printout from Shanti's phone. She made a call to someone called Cash about an hour before a shooting. I lifted a cash recently. Small time drug dealer in this area. Um, if it's the same one, his real name is Curtis Mead. Check the intel on his phone and see if Shanti's number's in it. Reg. Oh, sorry. Tell me you've got good news. Yes, uh, we covered a gun from near the scene. Bocock. That's right. It's been illegally modified, though. SO19 reckon it's capable of firing the cartridges found on the scene. Oh, and the CSE thinks there's going to be fingerprints as well. Hey, well done, Rich. Yeah. Where did you find it? Well, it was dumped in a bin on Barrett Lane. Oh, the guy obviously isn't the sharpest tool, is he? So when do we get the prints back? Well, a couple of hours. You have made my day. Rich Wallace. The enemy wants to see you to put off the interview. Hey, Rich, has been around. I know talking to me won't get him off. Have you thought you might genuinely want help? Feelings, his livelihood and habit rolled into one. He's not going to give it up. Thank you for the expert's opinion. I didn't realise my job was so straightforward. I'm just saying. Don't take any notice of him. He's been like this all morning. I reckon this bit on the side doesn't want to know. Fuck like you know anything. See what I mean? Temper, temper. You're all right. Cash and Curtis, one of the same. And Shanti's number is on the intel of his phone. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Could you pass this information on to the incident room for me, please, Tony? I also checked with some of the other names. And interestingly, Dee Winston was in his directory. You remember he was involved in that shooting a few months back? Yeah, they couldn't tie him to it, though. Trident have been after him ever since. So what's the connection here? Routine stop about three weeks ago. Dee, Curtis and one other. They had nothing on them, but they were in a black BMW. Tell me it's the same car. APNR confirmed. Same vehicle at the scene this morning. Right, well, if D. Winston is responsible for this, he won't be taking any chances. SO19 are at the hospital, Tony. Let them know exactly what they're dealing with, would you? Touch. And chase the prints, because the sooner we pick up D, the safer it will be for Shanti. You finished with this? Staff? Leave me alone. What did they give you? It's not his fault. Was it heroin? Steph, you need to tell me who's behind this. I just want to see him. Well, why can't you? Richie, we've been here for ten minutes and so far I've got no idea why you asked to see me. I've got plenty of time. Right. Well, I haven't. If you're serious about wanting to get help, you've got to prove it. Yeah, yeah, wait up. I do. It's just... I don't know how. Okay. Well, why don't you start by giving me the reasons that you want to get clean? Have you seen your dad since he's been inside? You know my dad? Yeah. I was his drug referral worker at Spicer Street. He must be a hard act to follow. Ty's doing well. He's clean. He won't last. As soon as he's back, he'll start on it again. Have you ever taken heroin? Heroin's for losers. Richie. I wanted to feel what was so great it took Mum and him away from me. What it did was make me hate him more. And have you taken it since? 
What did you find out on Cherry Watkins? Kath Wilson and Cherry Watkins have clashed. Several times. You mean bullying? Well, prison records say they fought. See, Kath told me she kept out of her way. Did it say what it was about? Well, the prison officers weren't sure, but Steph King was never far away. Kath told me she didn't know Steph. Then the DCI was right about not trusting her, Joe. She hasn't been entirely honest with us. Okay, thanks, Susie. You know, I had to really work to convince my DCI to use you. And now I find out you've been lying to me. Stuff happens inside all the time. Can't tell you everything. I'm not a grass. And what's between me and Cho has got nothing to do with it. Why did you fight? Cherry felt threatened when I arrived. Thought I wanted to take control. And did you? You've seen it in here. I don't need the hassle. She's welcome to it. It still doesn't explain Steph's involvement. Steph's green. Cherry saw it and started picking on her. I'm not going to stand by and watch it happen. I've seen it happen too many times before. I'm trying to protect her. Oh, yeah, right. And that's why she's lying comatose in a cell. Why do you think I agreed to help? I can't stop the drugs coming in here. I can't stop Steph taking them. She's hooked now. Do you think the screws give a damn? You're the only one that can shut this down. You still should have told me, Kath. At the end of the day, you go home and leave all this behind. You being in here is more of a risk to me than it is to you. So don't you dare tell me what I should and shouldn't do. Anyway, Steph's done nothing. If Steph trusts you, she'll tell you who's bringing it in. Isn't it obvious? I think it's time you and me had a talk. Someone needs to teach you some manners. You don't come in here unless I say so. Do you think you are? Not even here one day and you're poking your nose when it's not wanted. Put me down. I'm confiscating this. Did anyone tell you heroin's illegal? Give it to me! Assistance! Ow! Calm down, Jerry. Oh! Come on, then. What are you doing here? Stuff King's as high as a kite. I told you I thought I saw Cherry give her some. Stupid food. meddling bitch! She doesn't calm down, stick her in solitary. Let go of me! Found this, she might want to look inside it. You know what she's capable of? You could have been seriously hurt. Over what? A bit of kiss. Give us you're not going to punish her? This isn't a prison. It's a business. You report it. Prison gets fined 2,000 quid. You do that every time you find some, and this place is going to close down. And you and I are going to be out of the job. Understand? You're dead, bitch. Very frightened. She's hardly spoken. I don't think you're going to get much out of her. Hi, Shanti. I'm DS Nixon, Sun Hill CID. Do you mind if I sit down? I know this must be really hard for you, but I need you to tell me what happened. I don't know what happened. There was these guys. How many? Two. Or three, I don't know, I can't remember. Could you describe them? Were they black? White? Asian? Maybe Asian. And there was a shot. Shanti, if it's too much, you can stop. Shanti, I just want to show you these pictures. Okay. Were any of these men at the scene? Mm -hmm. 
Are you sure? We'll see. Okay. <clears throat> Just one last thing. How do you know Curtis Neal? He's my boyfriend. Is he here? No, we haven't contacted him yet. Have you ever seen him with any of these men? Look, I told you I'd never seen him before. Why aren't you trying to find out who did this? All right. That's enough. Of course. For your own safety, Shanti, we've put you under armed guard. There'll be an officer with you at all times. And when you feel ready to talk, you just let us know. Okay? I want to know who visits and any calls she gets. I'm sure Dee Winston's involved in this. I think she's just too scared to give him up. That's Shanti's boyfriend. Curtis, he might be up. It's all right. Why were you running, Curtis? Because I've done nothing wrong! Then you won't mind answering some questions about your girlfriend. Gov? We've just brought in Curtis Neal, Shanti's boyfriend. His clothing fits the description given by one of the witnesses. Do you think he shot her? Well, I doubt it. Walking into the hospital isn't the brightest thing to do if he did, but we have intelligence that links him to Dee Winston. And I'm pretty sure Dee's responsible. That previous shooting a few months ago... The one that we couldn't pin on him? I've checked the file, and the weapon used was an illegally modified Bocock, just like the one used today. Well, if he's trying to move in on other people's territory, it could be a turf war, but then why shoot the girl? An accident, caught in the line of fire, or a warning. To show Curtis he means business, to scare him off. Did she confirm that Curtis was with her? Well, she didn't say very much. She's trying to protect him. Reg? Sergeant. Sorry, girl. Look, forensics has just been on the line. There were two sets of prints on that weapon. One of them unidentified. The other one belongs to Curtis Neal. Well, that's your man. What happened? We were chasing a suspect. OK. You're enjoying this? Not at all. Well? Doesn't look like you'll need stitches. Thankfully. I wouldn't want you to come anywhere near me with a needle. Hey, Mon. Listen. I'm sorry. And you expect me to say forget it. I'm sorry, you can't take back what you said. It doesn't work like that. It wasn't directed at you. You could have fooled me. I was angry. Something happened with a mate of mine years back. And this whole thing with you and the Thomas kid brought it back. Whatever it was, it doesn't make your attitude right. There you go, making judgments before you've even heard me out. A bit like you, you mean. I had every reason. When I was at college, my mate was arrested and beaten up by an officer for something he didn't do. All because the police took the word of a white man over him. And that was years ago. <sighs> Why wouldn't you see the police for what they are? What are we? This is the very reason I became a police officer. To make a difference. But if everybody had your attitude, then nothing would change. We done? I know everything we need to win it be Richie. It'll be a pushover. Oh, really? Well, perhaps you'd like to share? Look, I know Richie's dad from Spicer Street. He got sent down about a year ago for dealing heroin. His mum's an addict. His uncle's a dealer. It's practically a family business. But Richie didn't have anything on him when we searched him. Plus, he's never been done for dealing. We found no money, no punter. We didn't even see an exchange. Apart from forensics, which is going to take hours, we've got nothing. He's received four text messages this morning, all arranging meetings. Well, did any of them match crimin? I know he's dodgy. <laughs> Richie's right. You want to chill out. What's wrong? Your married lady not giving you any? As if. We know you're dealing. If you know so much, then what we're doing here? The rap's been tested for prints and DNA, so why not save us all trouble and admit it? Why'd you run? Cos I knew this would happen. You people like causing trouble. Who were you talking to? Some mates. It ain't a crime. No, but dealing is. 
So, these mates, were they Max and Paul? What are you doing going through my texts? They're for my eyes only. You up for the draw, be at scales, 412. Oh, draw, it's another word for cannabis, isn't it? You're way off the mark, bro. I'm not your bro. We'll see if you still smile when I call your mates. Yeah, go ahead. If you want to make yourself look dumb? They were talking about the Champions League. Right now I should be in a pub watching footy with them, not stuck here with you bunch of jokers. If you've got something, better charge me, otherwise shut up. So what were you doing at the hospital? My girl's been shot. So let me think. Checking she was a rat, obviously. It's very touching. Who told you she was there? Her mate, Julie. The only people who knew she was there were her parents. Come on, Curtis, don't make this too easy for me. Nice sweatshirt, by the way. Where were you between five and seven this morning? In my yard, man. Can anyone verify that? Yeah. My brethren, Chris. Oh, where can we find this brethren, Chris? Number 13, St. Chinton Street. When did you last see Shanty? I don't know, Monday night? So you weren't clubbing with her last night? No. Shanty phoned you an hour before she was shot. What did you talk about? <sighs> Look, I, I, I don't remember. You're in very deep water, Curtis. I suggest you start remembering. Hold up a minute. You think I shot Shanty? Well, I don't know. Did you? You think I took a pot at my chick? You're crazy, lady. You ain't got nothing on me. Maybe you can explain what your fingerprints were doing on a weapon we found near the scene. Curtis says he wasn't with Shanty. We're breaking down his alibi. Well, his prints were found on the weapon. That's enough to charge him with possession. Well, the CPS have agreed to add the charge of attempted murder. As long as we get ballistics from the bullet, forensics and firearms residue. It's good work. Gov, Curtis made two calls today, in the early hours of this morning. So? So I think the unidentified prints are his. If I bring him in... No, you hand him back to Trident, that's what they're there for. You've got Curtis. Let it go. Gov. This is crap. Richie's only telling you what you want to hear. He don't mean any of it. How dare you read my notes? I need some. He's going to get off. Oh, what, so you thought you'd use me to get to him? He's using you. What's the difference? He needs me. Yeah, he needs you to get him off. You're wrong. I mean, have you even tried to talk to him? I don't need to. I know he's guilty. That's all that matters. You don't even want to understand why he's using. No one asked him to smoke dope or sell it. <sighs> what, you think you got through to him? Tonight he's going to be sat round with his mates having a right whole laugh about us. I know you were smoking smack in your cell. Did Cherry give you that? Get out of my face, bitch! I warned you. Get back to your way. Uh, Tina, Billy, can we um, pick up where we uh, left off, please? Um, Steph, if I can, uh, if I can get you to go over into the corner, and, um, can we, let's go, if I just get you to start off here, actually. Told you not to mess with Cherry. How's it going? I'm Commander Cherry. Great. Okay. What about the information you promised me? It's all good now. Somebody's in mates are getting jumpy. Yeah. Oh, there's something I do, not know. I'm running out of gear. There's a delivery tomorrow. How? No. I'm working. Then you just keep is Tess your source? How do you mean? Yeah, and you just keep While you're here? Oh, yeah, okay. I thought it must be an officer, but now outside it makes more sense. Nah, I haven't met her till this morning.
Richie's got something he wants to say. Interview with Richie Williams, 4.33 p.m. Present, Mr. Williams. His solicitor, Rochelle Barrett, the drugs referral worker, and PC's Casper and Johansson. The cannabis was mine. What are you dealing? That's all I'm gonna say. Right, well, that's a start. Glad to see you've come to your senses. In return for admitting the drugs were his, Mr. Williams has agreed to go on a drugs referral programme. I should be recommending the court consider this over a custodial sentence. If you think this is going to get you off, I've got news for you. This isn't a plea bargain. It's about Richie wanting to get clean. But did you get anything on D? I can't type to the BMW. It's owned by a leasing company. Well, the fact that he drove it three months ago means nothing. We haven't got CCTV to prove that he used it today. So much. You're right. Oh yeah. Well, if Curtis won't give us D, then we've lost him. I want you both to go through Shanty's directory again. It gave us Curtis. It gave us D. Let's see what else it brings up. Okay. What's your connection to D. Winston? I don't know no D. Winston. Well, that's funny because his number's in your phone. Do you make a habit of calling people you don't know? Oh, he's... He's what? What is he? Look, Shanty must have used my phone, innit? Thought you said you didn't see Shanty this morning. It was just you and this... your brethren, Chris. <sighs> Stop lying, Curtis. We have intelligence that links you with Dee, and we are pretty sure he was there when Shanty got shot. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Give me D. We both know he was involved. What was it? A turf war? An argument that got out of hand? What was it? Well, then you leave me no choice. W w where are you going? To the CPS. To charge you with possession of an illegal firearm. I've told you, if you want to get on, you follow my lead. Code 3, all available up in this recreation area. That's the workshop. Oh, not again. It's going to be all right, sir. It's happening because of you. So what sparked the attack? Don't half ask a lot of questions. One incident report. Blimey, well, I mean, that's quick. Oh, do this favour. Pull up tomorrow's visiting orders. Switch Debbie King to Lenny Denton. Steph was looking forward to seeing her son. Why would you switch visitors? Who knows what goes on in those women's minds. How many numbers has this girl got on her phone? What's wrong? Are you upset because you weren't the one that found the weapon? Nothing. You know, we can't all be the Reg Hollises of this world. If he walks me through how he found that gun one more time, I swear. Just give me the next number, will you? 07721 486 486. Hmm. Easy one to remember. Nothing. These numbers are doing my head in, actually. Do you want a cup of tea? I wouldn't say no. I need to show you something. What is it? Nick, no shanty. I don't understand. 
his numbers in our phone. Are you sure? Look, I've called his number enough times, I know it. I knew something wasn't right. I tried to interview her. He cut it short, in here. There must be some explanation. Like what? All right, mate. Okay. Over here. I can't believe he had the nerve to talk to me the way he did, and all the time he was lying. Why are you doing this? Because I needed to see for myself. Look, he practically pushed us out. I thought it was about me. No, he was protecting her. I think we should call DS Nixon. Yeah, I will, as soon as I've watched this long. What's he up to? Did she say anything? Too scared. Pete says she's changed her visitors. Steph hasn't seen her son since she's been in here. Your tax got to have something to do with it. Well, if I'm on Cherry's batch, I think twice about doing it again. No. I'll talk to Cherry. What? I'll end up like Steph. It'd be worth it. You're not making sense. I didn't want it to work out like this. I thought that when I got out, we could you know, spend time together. Talk. About what? Us. I only said I'd help because it was you. Don't pretend you didn't know. Oh, no, Kath. I know you've got feelings for me. Trust me. I haven't. It... What did you expect? I'm a police officer. It's hardly a match made in heaven. Not like Tess, you mean? I've seen you looking at her. Is she more your type? Stuck up do-gooder? We're not having this conversation. OK, I get it. I just think we should hand the tapes to CID. I'm going to. No, wait. I don't know. I need you to call the prison governor and tell him you're not going back there. If you do the same. I'm in the middle of an investigation. You know it doesn't work like that. Then I'm not going anywhere. Why are you being like this? You don't get to decide what I do. I've got as much right to be there as you have. This isn't a game test. This could be dangerous. Kath knows about us. And whose fault's that? I haven't got time for this. The DCI is waiting for me. Of course. Job comes first. Why change the habit of a lifetime? Talk later. Sorry, Joe. Don't worry. Tess is used to it. What do we know about Lenny Denton, Steph King's boyfriend? Nothing. But I spoke to her sister, Debbie, and she said that Steph called her at four o'clock after the attack and told her not to come. Said she was upset but didn't want to talk about it. Got it. It might just be waste. About shanties. What's Nick throwing evidence away for? Shanty's not as innocent as she makes out. The whole time I've known Kath, I had no idea she felt like that about me. Well, you got to hand it to her. None of us guessed that you were part of the deal. I can't use her now. And if I'm seen with Steph, it would put her in more danger. The whole situation's volatile. I need to get a result tomorrow or someone's going to get really hurt. So what's happening tomorrow? Visiting. Kath says there's a delivery due and I'm convinced that's how it's getting in. Why? Steph's sister Debbie was due to visit tomorrow with a little boy. After the attack, she changes it to Lenny Denton, her boyfriend. Gov, we know Steph was upset. Her sister said she'd never heard of Lenny Denton. In fact, she said that Steph didn't even have a boyfriend when she went in. Has Denton got formed? Nothing, sir. Which makes sense. They're not going to use someone with a conviction. It's too risky. I think Steph's the mule. She's the one bringing in the heroin. Right, Susie, we need to find out if it is Denton delivering these drugs. Sir. And let's get on to the prison governor, because if you're right, and it is Steph and Denton, we need to catch him in the act. And that means we're going to go in. We're going to go in tomorrow. Gov. Thank you. 
Has something happened to Shanti? Why don't you tell me that you knew her? <laughs> what of it? So you do know her? She's the sister of a mate from way back. Sorry, can you excuse us for a minute, please? And you didn't think that you should mention that fact? I was more concerned with keeping her alive. Is there anything else that you've forgotten to tell us? Look, what's this about, you all? Nick, we found the bullets. Nick Austin, I'm arresting you for assisting an offender. Yvonne! You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something Yvonne, please. you may rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Let's go. Next time on The Bill. This is not about you being told off. This is an attempted murder inquiry, Nick. No one. You don't talk to her. She might have another accident. Handing the drugs over now. Go, go, go!